After six deaths occurred on Okanagan Lake last year, the RCMP's West Coast Marine Services are in Kelowna talking about boat safety. The Kelowna RCMP have brought in a third boat and plan to up their patrols on the water this summer. We're doing a lot of vessel checks. Uh, we're uh, making sure everyone has their safety gear. We're making sure everyone has safe. We're enforcing the speed zones that are on the lake with the four speed zones. Uh, so we're uh, doing a lot of education for people who are renting boats, haven't been on the on this particular lake before and aren't aware of the rules. The bridge is what we noticed to be the biggest concern because there's blind so spots with being that it's a floating bridge on the water and as well as the breakwater on the other side. People will be coming around as someone's speeding through and there's a huge risk of collision. Kelowna RCMP officer Michael Della Polera was quick to address the common thread surrounding deaths on Okanagan Lake. Alcohol and a lack of life jackets. Uh, inexperienced swimmers. Unfortunately, we had a couple of inexperienced swimmers that went out into the water, uh, and they just, uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't survive. We had uh, one. I can tell you for sure, it was involved alcohol, uh, and uh, we also had a bunch of near misses. We had a uh, one of those uh, pontoon boats that flipped over because it was overloaded. If we had had more eyes on the water, that probably would have been something we could have taken care of. So that's why we have the extra boat this year. The West Coast Marine Services tells Castanet only one out of approximately 20 boats they pull over are fully compliant with the laws on the water. We didn't find one fully compliant boat yesterday. And uh, again, if it's a life jacket, you're getting a ticket. You should know better. But if it's a no batteries in your flashlight or you're missing your flares, generally we're going to direct you, hey, can you go to the marina, They're, they can sell you it, because I'd rather someone spend 100 bucks and have their boat safe than giving them a $230 ticket. As wildfire season approaches, the RCMP want to remind people on the water to stay out of the way of water bombers and that anyone found obstructing them from doing their job can be fined $1,150 under the Wildfire Act of BC. I'm Braden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.